devil again all that racket at him. <laughs> so there, was no, there, was, there was no one in the country that him. Only, I, but at the same time, you see, they didn't want to hear of drink at all. Mm. As well as company keeping or anything like that. It was all banned? Oh, it was all banned. So I uh, remember when Dini and he had a hall in uh, Monaghan. Uh, well, you know what it is. It was a dance with the priest to talk about on the altar the following Sunday. All them things were banned in uh, my, my time. And did the people did the people take him seriously? Or, or they I mean, did. Were they, they afraid of him? They were afraid of him. But they still were, they didn't stop the dancing? They though. were afraid. They were afraid. This, uh, the, I remember uh, there was two, and there was the one, two you, uh, lads, you know, and uh, one of them to be a girl, do see, and uh, two <laughs> more lying in the dike. When the priest was passing that you know, saintly, didn't the priest talk away from the altar? <laughs> the following <laughs> Sunday. Would you believe that? <laughs> one, of, one of the guys, fellas, pretended he was a girl. Just to uh, get lads, the priest going. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, uh, and lit in the dike, well, you know what it is. The following Sunday, he was sad in our tale. Didn't he speak of it from the altar? <laughs> I'm sure he had no proof of anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember that well, all right. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, sure, I remember part along. He was, he was a, a priest. Or he was silenced uh, fully. And Banagree invited him. So he came to Banagree in the. Why was that? In the in the late uh, well, the mid nineteen twenties. And uh, he was he was a great priest in one sense, but he was very odd. <laughs> to see, I suppose in there was something was playing in him, but he was he was uh, silenced by the the priest. He was to say mass every Sunday. In the early in the morning, maybe in the winter time, to be only seven o'clock, to be dark that time. There was no electric light or anything, and um, there'd be no one in the church that him. A couple of women, few women, might call uh, go to mass that hour the morning, and he'd give a sermon. I suppose should be a, a no love, a no one at all listening to only four or three women. I mean, sure there was a, there was no sense to it. Anyway, um, he was silenced anyway, so he, he, there was no sense at all to him. But uh, you see, he was uh, confined to his own half acre then. And he put up his own little church there, a little chapel, was it? and um, I remember it well, we were going to school. And um, he gets some, uh, he going to the school for it. Uh, he'd order uh, maybe one of the children to answer mass for him, such a following, sin, following morning or the following Sunday or something like that. But they were, they were fed up, I'm sure. It, uh, it was, uh, you know, girls, Reverend girls, and uh, they'd only stopped with him maybe a couple of days or a couple of weeks. And uh, he was, I don't know, he was given the steak. <laughs> Would you believe it? The poor man was a bit... Was ah, a bit, he, was, was a bit he, he was a bit odd. But he was a great priest after, to see in certain ways. But surely his wife smiled at all again. And it, it, his, I mean, it is often we always look in, like, after school, into the yard, or if he got you looking in, he'd say to you, that you be clearing home now to your praties and dip. <laughs> 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 I mean, That's good. So we, we were afraid of all life, I don't know. And of course, as kids, then, it would be all the more of an attraction to go and trying to get a reaction from the poor man, I suppose. W- wouldn't because they were all afraid of him. Uh, they'd keep uh, they'd they'd keep distance. Oh, Lord, they would, they would, because they would say they had awful pulled in teams to see the priest, and uh, they would say Father Long had pulled too, and they didn't, but uh, they would say that he could, he had a pull of curing as well as uh, anything else. And uh, they wished to avoid him as much as they could, but of course, uh, like that now, uh, I mean, people wished to oblige him as well, mm. to see him. Mm. And um, he said, the poor man, don't know what it is, he got a bad in the, don't know what it is, his house went up in the fire. <laughs> yeah. And there was a, a stove, a nail stove, and the, the girl anyway, whatever bloody thing happened anyway this morning. The make up, you know, someone burst in the door there just to release him from the fire.
Mm. And I'll try to be about the late 1940s. I'll hear about 1948, sir. 